Big Bro has a problem. It was springtime and the sweet fragrance of wild roses and white lilies was everywhere. It was a season of plenty and animals throughout the forest of Toonban scurried, collecting the choices of fruits, berries and delicious roots, stocking up their larders for the rest of the year. There was so much food that the animals decided to have a great big fruit festival. Auntie Pig offered to bake banana bread. Husna Hippo and Big Bro arranged for a grape crushing game room at the jungle play yard. Big Bro was also very excited because he was expecting the arrival of his distant cousin Bhompu. I will be seeing Bhompu after so many years. Were you two very good friends? Uh, not quite. But that was when we were just calves. Now that we are all grown up, I bet things will be very different. Husna smiled, hoping the same, and she always wished good for him. By afternoon, all was done, and the animals decided to take a quick lunch break. Big Bro headed to the banana grove near his home. But just as he was nearing it, he heard loud chomp chomp sounds. Big Bro, thinking that a thief was looting his precious bananas, tiptoed carefully, ready to give the thief a stinging surprise. <laughs> said Big Bro, but stopped short. As he saw a big burly elephant, bit shocked. Cousin Popo? Big Bro dropped the stick, a bit embarrassed. Yes, big bro. Though I must say, you are not quite as big as I am. Ha, ha, ha. Gafford, Bhompu, as he thrust his chest out importantly. Big bro sighed. Bhompu had always bullied him when they were young. But big bro had hoped he would stop now. Obviously not. Oh, cousin, a fruit festival has been organized at the jungle gym today. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Ah, sounds pretty boring. Uh, but I guess there's nothing else to do in this forest of yours anyway. Big Bro slumped, wondering why his cousin Bopu was so difficult to please. Soon, Bopu and Big Bro arrived at the fruit festival, which was now under full swing. Animals big and small, furry and slimy, had hopped, slithered, trotted or flown down to taste the delicious fruits and play the many games set out. Big Bro tried to introduce his friends to Bhopu, but Bhopu rudely brushed them off. <laughs> you have such puny friends, Big Bro. Maybe that's why you're getting shot each day. <laughs> Bhopu swayed off to one of the stalls. Husna, Hippo, Minky Mouse and Harry Hare were pretty upset, but were pacified by Big Bro's earnest apology. I'm so sorry, friends. Popo doesn't make friends easily. With these kind of manners, he never will, muttered Harry Hare. Suddenly, a yell attracted their attention. It was Pasha Snake. Help! The grape crushing tub! Big Bro and his friends rushed over to see the big tub toppled over, spilling thick, sweet juice onto the grass. All my hard work! I tried to stop him. Pointing to Bompu, who was coolly sucking sugarcane. Ashamed, Big Bro was about to apologize when another shout startled them. No! Stop that! Big Bro turned with dread rising in him. And sure enough, his cousin Bompu had caused trouble again. And this time, it was serious. Oh no! He has smashed Toto Cuckoo's nest! Morris Monkey swung up the branches quickly and caught Toto's little babies before they fell from the wrecked nest. Toto was close to tears as she tried to mend the nest in vain. Oh, what do I do, my poor babies, my home? Toto wept miserably and all the animals felt very, very sorry for her. That is all except for one. Oh well, I just shifted the branch a bit so that I may get some shade. How would I know that this foolish bird would build a nest in such a place? Toto is not foolish. It is you who was careless not to have seen the nest. Turning to Big Bro, Shamsher could not help but say, I am sorry, Big Bro, but you and your cousin have to leave the festival right now. Big Bro sighed and nodded. Why should I go? These animals have no manners. How dare they treat me like this? If I were, I can squash all of them with just one foot. Raved Bobo, 
and it was after a lot of coaxing and cajoling that Big Bro finally managed to get him home. The next day, Big Bro met Shimsher and the others. I am very sorry for the trouble Popo caused yesterday. Seeing how bad Big Bro felt, they all smiled and nodded. But once he had left, Shimsher said, I am sure Big Bro feels sorry, but Popo doesn't. Yes, he has to be given a taste of his own medicine. It is only then that that haughty elephant will learn to respect and care for others. I have an idea. They all leaned in close as Minky whispered her plan. The next day, as Bhopu greedily munched on bananas, Minky, Harry and Morris quietly tiptoed behind a bush near him and started talking loudly to each other. I'm sure we'll have great fun at a tea party today. Shh, Minky, don't speak so loud, else that Bhopu will hear you. Oh, oh, yes, yes, I'm sorry. Come on, let's go to Husna's house. The party would have started. And the three animals left the place. I will show those puny pipsqueaks. So saying, Bhompu stomped towards Husna's house. At Husna's house, Pasha peeked out and saw Bhompu approaching. He's coming, warned he, and everyone rushed to hide. Bhopu barged into Husna's garden and spotted a huge yummy looking cake. Ah, they did not want to share the cake with me, huh? That I too would smash it so that no one gets to eat it. So saying, Bhopu headed at the cake. His trunk raced. No, wait! You will trample Granny Ant's home. Ha! As if I care! And rudely shoving Harry aside, rushed at the cake, his huge foot crushing down on the anthill. He doesn't care at all for the others. Don't worry, he's going to learn his lesson. Watch. And then Husna saw a large number of red ants climb angrily out of the crushed anthill and head for Bhopu. They started crawling up his legs and onto his body. Yeah, get off you pesky insects, otherwise I will scratch you, said he. But how much ever he shook, stamped and swung his trunk, the red ants wouldn't fall off. And once they were all over his body, they started biting him. Oh, 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 stop it! Bhopu wailed and writhed as his body swelled with sore lumps. You are a very mean and unkind bully. Why should we show you mercy? I am sorry, really sorry. I will never bully or be mean to anyone. Please stop biting me. That evening, Big Bro was surprised to find a very meek and quiet Bhopu helping rebuild Toto Cuckoo's home. He was also helping Husna and Auntie Pig with filling her pies. Popu is so nice now. What magic made him change so suddenly? Minky's plan bright and Granny Ann's bite. And everyone laughed happy that all was well in Toonban again.